Thanksgiving draws near, we take a look back at a month during which we've brought you stories of our veterans and their families, their contributions, and their sacrifice. We've looked at challenges facing our service members as they come home from overseas. And along the way, we met a young man whose heart for our veterans goes above and beyond the call of duty. A 13-year-old Mandeville Junior High School student who believes in giving back. North Shore reporter Heath Allen tells us that Sean Knoll is making sure St. Tammany remembers. Everything I do for them is completely out of respect for the sacrifices that they've given for our country, and they truly deserve that. 13-year-old Sean Knoll is a patriot in every sense of the word. A seventh grader at Mandeville Junior High School, Sean launched a program called St. Tammany Remembers to honor local vets. Here at Mandeville Junior, this Thanksgiving, he's ramrodding a school-wide collection of things to send to our servicemen overseas. Some examples. We got shaving cream, some soup, uh, deodorant, chapstick, and uh, these are some of the letters that students wrote to all the active service members. At Thanksgiving, Thank letters from service. students giving thanks to service members who won't make it home for the holidays. T, thanks for your service. H, happy for what you do. A, awesome. N, never a day not thinking about you. K, kind. S, special. A special thanks at Thanksgiving. He's, he's got a, a old soul and a young body is what everybody says. Sean's mom, Missy, can only sit back and appreciate the efforts of her son. Not only does he support veterans, but he's created programs to provide warm clothing for those in need and another to send kids like himself with hemophilia to camp for free. Just to be blessed with the ability to see the whole picture and if somebody's hurting, to feel like no matter how small the act, that you really can make a difference. He loves to volunteer his time and to serve others. Well, he is a Mandeville Junior High patriot, so he's right at home at a school totally committed to patriotism and supporting veterans. You'll see Thanksgiving collection boxes around the school, and you'll also see the student-created Wall of Peace in the hallway. Where they talked about uh, what it means to honor our veterans, how we can promote peace in the world, and some of their own ideas of how they can contribute. Gandhi said, be the change you wish to see in the world. And I, I think that's really inspiring, and I guess I took on from that. A huge heart and such purpose. He's very purpose-driven. He's got a plan. He's 13? <laughs> I just drive the car. He does everything else. <laughs> Sean carries his message to civic organizations and veterans groups, and they welcome him. To Sean, it's more than just thanks at Thanksgiving. He wants to make sure... St. Tammany remembers. On your side on the North Shore, Heath Allen, WDSU News. And this is just one of many of Heath's reports on the men and women who serve and their challenges abroad and here at home that have been airing all this month. Watch for our special hour-long presentation, Chronicle the Long Road Home, right here on WDSU next month. And if you've missed any of Heath's reports or would like to hear from the families featured in Chronicle the Long Road Home, go to our website, WDSU.com.